Hey, this is Matt at Mr. Maple, and uh, we got another package in from our friend Talon Buckholtz. I'd heard they maybe sent us some books. Uh, last time it was a lot of fun to open them up live uh, with our Facebook Live app, so we thought we'd share kind of some Maple Geek stuff with you again. Let's get into it and see what we got this time. All right. Christmas Day here at Mr. Maple. Still got our Christmas decorations up here at our parents. Oh, cool. Oh, All wow. right. Well, a little closer. We've got uh, Westenbert, uh, the National Arboretum. Love this garden. In fact, we're about to do a, a video on our YouTube page about Westenbert and my travel there uh, in 2010. Love this arboretum. One of the best arboretums in the world. It's actually the oldest planting of Japanese maples in uh, Western world, so outside of uh, Japan and a lot of the Asian countries, this is the oldest planting of maples. The original planting there is in the early 1800s. So, really cool book I haven't uh, I haven't seen before, just on uh, the history of Western Bird Arboretum. So this is something that will be really really useful to us on our next trip in Japan. This actually has the scientific name of Japanese maples. So like over here you see. Uh, there's an Acer palmatum in section right here. And over here is it in Japanese. So this could be really useful. Has it for you know each of the maple species. Um, that's really useful. Oh, this is going up in the office. Here we have some more uh, photography done by uh, Masayoshi Yano. Uh, Yano-san, uh, he actually got a start as a food photographer and got into collecting maples as he was putting them around as garnishes for food. So, uh, just look at that. Yeah. yeah, this this is going in some frames up in the office. Yonasan's a good and friend then, of uh, ours, and this is really, really awesome. Like a, like a small business card, maybe, from him? I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out on Google Translate. <laughs> but a whole package of uh, one-of-a-kind photography. Now, this is Wild Maples of Japan photography. Oh, wow, wow. So, this is just oh, wow. species. It's our Gudum. Acer Janala. Wow. Sure, and this Solomon. again is uh, photography by uh, Yano Sanofolium, Japonicum. Hey, Nina. Yano, if you're watching, hope you're doing well. <laughs> hey, wow. Go back in there. That's really cool. Let's see what this is. This is a printed off of slides. Katsura Gasan. Look at that. <laughs> this looks like a presentation that someone's given with annotations And this is the, uh, the printout of the slideshow. This was a presentation made in Japanese. Uh, you can see this. But basically, these are presentations. This one's on Yano's book, That's a book Yano for book Maple. Thing. So I'm guessing these are presentations by Yano. Maples of Genshugate, which is This is probably... a printout with guides. This will have to go in some laminated uh, folders for sure. Wow. Oh, wow, look at these pictums. Wow. That's incredible. So, good stuff there. Yeah. And uh, we may do individual videos on some more of the stuff if people are interested enough. Maples of Genshugate. Uh, uh, Yama's website is something with Genshugate. Dot. Cool. So, I'm guessing this is right. Yama's presentations. Some really good information here and some presentations. Buckholtz and Buckholtz catalog. Nice. We collect nursery catalogs as well, so uh, yeah, we're that geeky about plants. <laughs> Here we have... Welcome to my world, maples. The maple. Basically, I think this is another presentation... Um, about wild maples of Japan. So another really interesting presentation. With the contact information from the yeah, guy. Yeah, from the it. guy who did the presentation. We'll, we'll research all that information. <laughs> oh, sure. this is pretty cool. This is a Frank Biles catalog. Oh, cool. Frank. Hey, Frank and Judy, if you're watching. <laughs> Small maples, big uh, color, and an in memoriam of uh, his father-in-law, Howard Hughes, uh, who was a famous maple guy, and uh, has the maples with the, the descriptions uh, from Frank's catalog. That's, wow. Here's where Talon 
uh, the registration form and uh, basically where Tal and his wife attended the uh, Westenburg uh, Maple Society meeting. It's the International Maple Symposium in 2002. Wow. And it has a little bit of information about places on the tour and registration and uh, more information about Westenburg. So kind of neat there too. We'll put that with a Westenburg book. So here we have uh, a uh, signed letter from Harry Olson from Olson's Frosted Strawberry, oh, okay. who's enclosing a review of Van Gelderen's Maples for Gardens book. Oh wow! Uh, that, that, that's like a piece of maple history right there. That that's that's special. Yeah. Wow. This is awesome. Wow. Here's the itinerary for the Westenburg Maple Society meeting. So you can go through the 2002 meeting. Uh, moderator Douglas Justice. Hey Douglas, if you're watching. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> that's really cool. As someone who couldn't have attended that, I was in college in 2002. That's really cool to uh, get a full breakdown of the itinerary, the things they went to see around Westenburg. We're probably going to go to Westenburg uh, this October. The, the International Maple Society this year is going to be in France. So if you haven't... Uh, made plans it's, it's starting to come out a little bit of information about that so it's going to be in the the northern france area augustine uh, hey augustine if you're watching has put together a really nice meeting and so tim and i are probably going to do that and then make a trip over to westenburg if possible so yeah. this will be super good resource for uh researching some more things to do around westenburg so and then here's some more of the presentations from that meeting so i'm guessing most of these are actually from that meeting Acer species hybrids and synopsis. This is synonyms. a oh, and synonyms. Sorry, this is basically a uh, an early or maybe even this is a some species work done by uh, Peter Gregory, our, the our good friend Peter Gregory. You know Peter Gregory, who's did the third and fourth editions of Japanese Maples by Veritrees, co-author of those books. This is uh, some further information that's not even in those books. Acer species hybrids and synonyms. So. Uh, that's that's super useful resource there. Uh, that's why we share these things. They're so much fun as big plant geeks. Uh, a lot of these resources aren't available anywhere else except for guys like Talon, and we're so grateful for him to share this kind of stuff with us. So uh, here we have another catalog, a different year, from Frank Biles, um, Small Maples, Big Color. Uh, again, and talking about each of the uh, trees. Uh, that's that's pretty awesome. That's really useful especially seeing the descriptions and when they originally, you know, some of the original descriptions on these plants. This Here, is pretty cool stuff. Here's a, um, basically a write-up where Talon sent some of the introductions in to Peter to have them registered. And then here's also another presentation by uh, our friend Piet DeJong. And uh, this is basically his presentation at that 2002 Maple Society meeting. So really cool. A meeting I couldn't go to, but I'll get to relive it and dig into a little bit of the research from that meeting through this. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really cool. Oh, wow. So this is actually a Bear Trees catalog oh. uh, from Maplewood Nursery. <laughs> That's cool. We uh, one of those. That'll be our second. Yeah. This is the fall 1980 catalog from Bear Trees. Uh, J.D. Bear Trees, who wrote the first, second, and third edition of Japanese Maples. Um, wow. And uh, Wow. That, that's really awesome. That, that's a piece of maple history right there. I got another piece of maple history here uh, from Red Maple Nurseries, Dick oh. Wolf's catalog. Uh, this is Dick Wolf, originated uh, Moonfire, uh, Emperor One, so many awesome trees you know. I mean, Green he, Mist. He, he, he's named probably at least 15 to 20 trees. Yeah. Uh, the catalog says celebrating our first, our 61st year. Uh, <laughs> pretty cool catalog to see. There at Red Maple Nurseries. It doesn't have a date on it specifically, but we'll go back through and uh, check some of this stuff out. It's uh, it's definitely before the internet. <laughs> wow. Wow. It has a full list of uh, what he offered there at Red Maple Nurseries in this catalog. That'll be, that'll be some really good research information there. Wow. Okay, that's cool. So uh, this is the International Maple Symposium uh, list of maples from 2002. So this is all of 
the Maples in Westonburg Arboretum with oh, their yeah. ID number. Wow. Including the cultivars. This is pretty awesome stuff. Okay, this is really good, too. This is a uh, 1999. This was published by Peter Gregory on September 30th of 1999. This is the Japanese Maple Cultivar Index. It includes cultivar names, published, sold, or found in collections. So basically, this is a precursor to the International uh, Maple Society checklist. Uh, I do like the format, though. It's a really nice, clean format uh, with Peter's own notes. So <laughs> that, that's, that's good information there. So here we have a, uh, another one of Talon Buckholz's uh, catalogs, a different year. Uh, oh, cool. It's got the fun, fantastic lineup of their specimens, uh, some of their introductions. Uh, you may notice that from uh, uh, videos that the uh, picture that Talon had sent me of the first ghost. Wow. So we have a copy of uh, Variegated Plants and Colors. This is the volume three which is actually the harder of the three volumes to get. Um, do have this. We're going to be doing a review on this book. Love this book. Very gay plants in color. Uh, if you hadn't checked these series out, we've offered them from time to time here at the nursery. Uh, Barry Inger helped make this popular uh, in the U.S., this, this series. I got my original two from Barry, and then I tracked down three in Japan. Um, hard book to find. Really awesome book if you love variegated plants. So here we have... Uh, I've seen this before. This is the International Maple Society meeting in Japan. The book from the International Maple Society meeting in Japan. Hey, Nakata-san, if you're watching. We just <laughs> yeah. had to visit Nakata-san uh, when yeah. we were in uh, Japan last month. And so this is the, the meeting. If you look at it this way, this is what you read in Japanese. If you look at it this way, this is the meeting in English. The Maple Society Symposium 2008 in Japan. And so you can go through here and see all these awesome articles written and what went through for each part of the nursery. Uh, each of the speakers and each of the papers that was pr were presented that day. There's Dr. Olson, shout out, if you're watching. Here's a, uh, I don't think he's on Facebook. But. <laughs> Here's a Flora Fun, New Plants from Talon Buckholtz. And basically this is just a huge... Wow library of his own photography uh, of course talon's a master photographer too like yano san um some of the most maple famous maple photos you'll see are his of course but some just great photography i'll check that out Looking at sherman's nordlick picture pevy minaret wow good stuff good stuff all around <laughs> so really good photo book here uh you know with a few brief descriptions in the back but some really cool rare plants. So uh, this is a listing of plants that Yano had in January 20th, 2004. Oh wow, I'm sure this has grown a lot since. Yeah, but a listing of them. Oh wow, with the Japanese names too. Yeah, so yeah, that's got really in, useful. Uh, that This will be really useful. When, wow, perfect for, for, for listing the correct names. Show them a little closer what that is. Yeah, so like right here, Here's a variety right here uh, that we have called Kigero, but over here is the name in Japanese. So this could be really, really useful, especially when talking with a lot of the Japanese. We'll have to make copies of this. Wow. Here is, and if, if, uh, if you were at the Maple Society meeting this year, you, you met Billy Schwartz. Uh, Billy was an apprentice to Dick Wolf. Uh, Billy's one of the guys who presented on Witch's Brooms. He's found more brooms than anybody on Maples, for sure, and lots of other things, too. Here's an academic article. Uh, it looks like it was published by Dick Wolf and Talon saved this information. It's basically uh, eight witches' brooms of Acer palmatum and their propagation. So it has some of uh, Dick Wolf's introductions, to name a few. He, he's named a bunch, and uh, a little bit about how to propagate those the best way possible. So that's really cool. Really interesting information there too. So this is. An account of a uh, lecture on colored leaves by Peter Gregory called Flamboyant Flushes. Uh, that is uh, pretty neat. Wow. This is pretty awesome. This is a, a, a paper, an account that I've never seen before by Peter Gregory. Um, 
That's awesome. This is uh, mostly in Japanese. The second few pages are in English. A uh, handwritten letter to Talon. Um, this is about uh, Akashigatatsu Sawa. So uh, this is uh, a definition of the information and where this came from that was sent to Talon uh, from Japan about Akashigatatsu Sawa. It's really good information there. Of course, we'll, we'll use some Google Translate and uh, get through all the Japanese on that page so that we can figure out some of the things that are going on there. So this is a whole write-up on Amagi Shiguri here that says, uh, in the Showa era, 26 to 89, this cultivar was owned by Mr. Uh, Eiji Tayama, was sold, it has the whole history of uh, Amagi Shiguri right here. And uh, here's the original letter that was written, and here's it translated here with the photos. I mean, that... So I got something I really, really wanted for a while here, too. Oh, you uh, didn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to buy this at the Maple Society meeting in uh, Europe. Uh, somebody was a little underhanded, and they wrote their bid on the back of the page. In fact, I was already paying my 70 euros or whatever I bid on this at the point, and they walked up and said, check the back of the page. And when they flipped it over, they had written a higher bid on the back of the page and being the kind international man I am, I didn't complain about it. But uh, it's came back around, and we've got Talon's book. Oh, wow. So this is a book, uh, Acer Species, a Species of Acer by Talon. Um, basically a really rare book. Uh, if you find this, there was only very few copies of this ever made. Um, wow. This is basically uh, some of Talon's best photography of Acer species, Acer penophyllum here. Wow, I've never seen but, this, but I didn't get to go on that. This is a very rare book, one I'm excited to add to our book collection. Uh, you don't see it very often, it's, uh, it's pretty rare. It's basically a photo book, he only made a few of them, and uh, pretty cool. I mean, this is, this, is, uh, this is something you don't just find on Amazon, so I've been looking for this one for a while. Pretty cool stuff. I've really been wanting to get my hands on a copy of this. Uh, it's got this nice little Kodak sheet that goes <laughs> in to uh, keep it safe as it is uh, basically a, a photo book. Uh, this is a book you've had self-published. Yeah, so. self-published book here. Really cool stuff. Wow. So this is... Ooh, what's that? Um, it's pretty colorful. This is someone's catalog in Japan. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a, a brochure for a, ca a poster for the book oh, for that'll go up in the office. This is a, a poster for Yano's book, a uh, book for Maples, which is out of print and very hard to find, too. Wow. Uh, very good book. Um, <laughs> but uh, a, little, a little poster for that. And uh, it's got some really nice color to that. There's a photo from Hanamoto we saw earlier in the photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Cultivated Maple Species, Illustrated Guide, and How to Recognize Them by Peter Gregory and Hugh Angus. Wow, so this is some early work on a book Peter and, and Hugh were working on. They were actually working on this book um, when I was in England last. Uh, basically, they were gonna, I don't think it ever came out. They were going to call this book, What Maple Is That? Um, and this is a, er, it's a very complete copy, actually. Uh, full color photos. Uh, and basically, their key to identifying Acer species. Oh, wow. I mean, you, you can't get this. <laughs> you can't get this stuff anywhere. This is a... Uh, wow, this is basically, such a great... Basically an unpublished guide by Peter Gregory uh, and Hugh Angus, who are you know, two of the smartest guys on earth about maples. Uh, and it basically describes lots of different Acer species, how to identify them. Uh, here's a whole chapter on Nagunda. Here's a whole chapter on you know everything. I mean, it's... Wow, the photography in this is phenomenal too. We'll probably have to do an individual video about this at some point. The, but it's a really cool book. These books are such great resources for us. Though. I mean, this, and, this and, is great. And trying to learn and understand the history and understand a lot of these species maples and the origin of a lot of these plants. <laughs> this is <laughs> draft checklist of maple cultivars for checking entire and adding amended information as it arises. So this is an early copy. Uh, basically, that they've sent to Talon uh, to update it with his list of this book, the World Maple <laughs> Checklist. And so, uh, some different items in here as well. 
Actually feels a little bit thicker, but uh, wow. This is as of June 2007, so there'll be a lot of good information on things in there for sure. That's awesome. This is an awesome uh, checklist here. Basically the same thing. Oh, 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 oh. I got a handwritten letter in oh, here. To Talon from Peter Gregory. And oh. has a little, some, hope this is useful when you're naming your uh, new introductions. All the best, Peter. November 5th, 2008. Oh. And here's a, uh, another handwritten letter here uh, from uh, Peter. To Talon. To Talon. Wow. I mean, you're talking about real maple history when you're talking about Peter Gregory and Talon Buck Holtz. We love stuff like this. Here's a handwritten letter about some of the specific cultivars he was uh, getting ready to introduce. So that that's awesome. That's that's primo maple geek stuff right there. <laughs> uh, great resource here. Uh, kind of a harder book to find too. This is by uh, Douglas Gibbs and uh, Chin. This is uh, the Red List of Maples. So basically, this is a list with uh, good photos and descriptions of the regions. This basically has a breakdown. Uh, where the most endangered native maples are and uh, what their zones are like, where they're from, what their range is like still in the native habitats. And so this is a great resource as the Maple Society. We do a lot of funding for items uh, for, you know, uh, like saving endangered maples, basically. And that's what we'll do with some of this information. Uh, last year, we just funded an Acer Grissian project through the Morris. Uh, we helped fund. We, we, we donated some money to their project that was already existing. And so uh, the Maple Society does a lot of cool things like this. Um, and it keeps some really cool plants, you know, in the native habitat that otherwise would be disappearing. Ooh, you do that one, I'll get this one. <laughs> so this is uh, a day uh, in the ancient uh, bristlecone pine oh, forest. Uh, so this is a lot on that area. Um, Pretty cool stuff. I'll have to check this out later. And, okay, uh, so here we have another book by Yano San. This is a 2005 self made book by Masayoshi Yano that he gifted to Talon Buckholtz. And Talon's been so gracious to gift this on to us. Uh, it's just entitled Japanese Maples. Again, these are 2005 a collection of photos by Yano San. These are really well done prints of, of, of photos by Yano San of his collection. Uh, I mean, this is just incredible stuff. So basically all the postcards we had that we're putting up in our office, here's a complete book with large photo descriptions. Or no descriptions, but just large photos. I mean, wow, this is really good stuff. Maimori, wow, Wisagumo. Murasaki. I mean, this is uh, some of the stuff there might not be any other photos of. So, wow. Besides through Yano, of course. Wow. So, super valuable resource here for information. We have to be good stewards of stuff like this. This is really cool. So, uh, Japanese Maple Nursery. By Dick Vandermat. Huh. Shout out to Dick if you're watching. Uh, this is his his list of his uh, trees. The different all the different varieties that he had at the time. Wow. That's a really awesome resource. That a lot of these things like this this. You know, you can use like the World Maple Checklist too. Check it through. That's awesome. So there's 15 copies of uh, Sukiya Living, which is a great uh, Japanese lifestyle magazine. Different Japanese uh, it's, it's a guide to Japanese uh, gardening. So it's got all kinds of information about uh, style and design. Uh, we subscribe to this. I don't think I have a lot of these, which are good. They're older copies. So it's really good information. Uh, basically... Uh, a, a Japanese gardening magazine about how to do it correct and create uh, <laughs> Japanese style gardens. So, uh, really good stuff. This here, by seeing Kino Sato down here, this is going to be something, uh, a catalog from Mr. Suzuki, who we went and visited this past time in Japan. Ah, oh, uh, nice. His nursery catalog. 
Looks like this is one from 2004. So yeah, so we'll be able to use the great Google resource Translate for information to go through this and uh, read through this. Mr. Zuka is a really, really friendly guy. We we had the pleasure and honor of uh, getting to uh, visit him. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> wow, <laughs> very cool. Here's a Q Gardens uh, Ginkgo postcard. And here's like a postcard talent sign at some point with uh, some little maples about that and a little uh, brief wrap about the nursery. You might see that behind Tim's head in some of our videos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then here's a book. This is a book basically outlining uh, the Maple Society Symposium in 2002. So, tons more information. This has got a lot of information on maples in this, too, and maple descriptions. Good little book there to hang on to, for sure. Now he's cherry-picking all the best ones. Don't let him do that. Promising conifers. And uh, this is oh, nice. a... I haven't seen this book before. I hadn't either. And this is a list of conifer names. The most comprehensive dictionary of conifers in the world, according Ooh, to this. This Scott Oppus. And uh, Talon knows that we've started to get a little bit into some conifers. And, of course we have, yeah. Uh, I guess this is his uh, way of uh, tempting us <laughs> to do a few more. Huh. Wow. That's pretty awesome. This is basically a world maple checklist of conifers. Nice. The dictionary stuff. So this is Promising Conifers Part 1. And uh, I think this is Netherlands Conifer Society, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. NCV, we use Google Translate. And I'm not sure how to translate what that says. I, I don't know. So here are some more photographs by Yano. Um, they're super, super amazing. There's Uzan Nishki, one of our favorites. There's Uzan Nishki again. Here's another 2004 wow. checklist of maples. Uh, this one is made by Yano san. Uh, so, this is the maples in uh, wow. Masayoshi Yano's collection. Really cool there. Well, that's a 2004, so there'll be a lot of interesting things to read through there. Still more in this box. It's like a clown car here. <laughs> what do we got here? Ah, uh, another, uh, this is a, a more in depth um, printout of Yano's selections with the names in the Japanese again. Oh, wow. In Japanese and in, in uh, English Romanji. So another really near, nice uh, printout. This one is also from 2004, but a little bit more in depth. And so here is a... Uh, open this up. More photos by Yano. So that's, that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure what language this is in, actually. In Dutch. This is Dutch? Yeah. Uh, a catalog from Holland here with some really nice layouts of leaves and um, just really colorful catalog. I mean, this is... Excellent catalog for uh, information. Does it say on the back? The photography in this is really well done as well. I'm not quite sure whose catalog or how to say this, uh, but really interesting catalog of maples there. And I'll just give you a little closer look at the, uh, the leaf photos on the back of that. Really nice. Full of information like that. Oh, man, I didn't see this. Somehow this guy stood up. Yeah, I was saving that one. Oh, wow. So, uh, this is a, a book here made in Japan with photos. That's Izo no Doriko there. Oh, that's nice. So, these look are at, handmade photos. The handmade look at, look book, how thick basically. the second growth is on that. Mm hmm. Wow. Where's this book from? It looks like Japan. Huh. I've seen that one before. 
<laughs> wow. Oh, wow. What's that? Oh, man. Let's get some to some non maples in through here. Some really good stuff in there, too. Yeah. Oh, cool. And each of these are photos of Does it have it written on the front who it's by? Um, it probably does. Ah, okay. It's in Japanese. Yeah, we can use we'll, Google we'll translate. translate that. Here's another 2006 listing of all the plants at World Maple Park collected by Yano-san. Uh, and there'll be some different good information in each of those. And I think, oh, one more after that. We're to the end of the box. So this is labeled the family tree of the plants at the Western Bird Arboretum by Peter Gregory. So this is a book by Peter Gregory on Western Bird Arboretum. And, uh... Basically talks about the scientific classification, hence the family tree of the plants at the Arboretum, which is pretty cool. Wow. So this is a, a nursery guide in Japan. Um, Akane <laughs> and uh, Hanamato here on the cover. Really good book. This is uh, basically, a, I believe, a mail-order catalog where you can order a lot of these plants from different nurseries. I think it's a... For the Japanese. Yeah, obviously mm -hmm. have to order them in Japan. <laughs> yeah. But uh, tons of information here. Camellias. Circe's canadensis. Different maples. Oh, wow. That? That's Simone Lewis Freeze. Hmm. Mai Mori. Mm. Akane Orange Dream. Wow. I mean, this has got some really cool stuff. Rayusen? Yeah, of course, Rayusen. Uh, it's a really nice resource there. But uh, thanks for just being geeks with us for a minute. And if, if you checked out our video, uh, do check out more. We're going to be doing a lot more on Mr. Maple Show. It's basically our, our YouTube channel's Mr. Maple Show. Go check it out. We're going to be adding stuff almost daily. Uh, we're going to be adding tons more information from our recent trip to Japan with uh, lots of pictures and videos of some of the most interesting things we've seen in our maple travel. Yeah. So lots coming out there. Uh, do check that out. We'll be doing some live videos. But the majority of our information, we're going to start posting on that Mr. Maple show on YouTube. So please subscribe and like and comment on our videos there. Uh, it's a great way to get the information out. And uh, yeah, thanks, for, thanks for following us. Y'all have a happy new year, too. Happy new year.